So hi everyone, so today what I want to do is talk about how you can get audio into your video on cameras that don't have built-in mic jacks. And because there's, there's so many cameras out there, they're great cameras, take great video, but then they don't put mic jacks in them for some reason. And it's it's been really frustrating uh, uh, venture for me trying to find a good vlogging camera. But uh, if you've already bought a camera and it doesn't have a mic jack, I'm going to talk about three different ways that you can get audio into your video and even go out vlogging and get better audio. Okay, the first way, and you've probably seen this, um, you know, a thousand times, and, and that's recording audio separately into uh, audio recording device. Now, this is the Zoom H1N. This is awesome. Uh, I've done this time to time, but this can be a pain to go back and sync the audio with the video in post, particularly for vlogging style, because uh, you, know, you, you might have 25 or 30 clips, and sometimes you forget to turn this on or off, and it's it's almost impossible to get the audio synced back. At least for me, it, the, the workflow is just uh, a headache. And uh, th there's ways that you can improve your workflow, you know, and and sync the audio a little bit easier in post. But there's, like I said, there's so many videos on how to do that out there. Uh, I'm not going to go into it here because this this way is one way though, and I I I recommend this if you have you know, very limited videos, like you're not doing 25 cuts, you're doing two or three cuts, and you're very deliberate about turning this on and off. Then syncing and post is very easy, and sound quality is awesome. So uh, if you want to do it that way, the Zoom H1 is the most popular uh, way to do it, but you can use your cell phone or any uh, voice recorder. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about this one anymore, because it's been done to death. The other way, and it's a very, very expensive way, is... Uh, to buy an external uh, video recorder like the Atomos Ninja V uh, that just came out. You know, that records the audio and the video because it has its own mic jack built in and all you have to do is uh, plug in to the HDMI, par HDMI port on which most cameras have, ironically. They don't have mic jacks but they got HDMI ports. Uh, and then record audio and video that way separately from the camera altogether. So all the camera is doing is you're just using the sensor in the camera for the video uh, and then everything is recorded externally and that's a very popular way but it's not ideal for vlogging because it really adds a lot of weight to your kit right because now you got this five or seven inch monitor on top of your camera on top of additional batteries uh, and a hard drive potentially an SSD so you're doubling or tripling the weight of your rig and the size uh, and and the cost right because those animals Ninja recorders cost more than my EM10 Mark II, or certainly three, four times more than my Pen PL8. So I don't recommend doing that. But, uh, you know, if you're in the video, uh, you know, a lot of people do it that way for when they're on a tripod and recording like this. But what I'm talking about is, you know, doing vlogging. Now, you can use this next system that I've come up with, uh, and I think this is my unique idea. I because I haven't seen it done before. Uh, and, and I'm not the most creative person in terms of like artsy stuff and photography, but when it comes to solving problems, I try to get creative and I try to find things. You know, that, that's why I'm such a, a hoarder uh, of everything. But eventually I think of some way to use that. Okay, so let me show you how I'm recording audio right now using this exact system. Okay, this is my... EM10 Mark II that does not have a mic jack, okay? Now you will need a hot shoe most likely, all right? And what I'm using is like a little GoPro hot shoe adapter that normally you'd put like a GoPro here uh, or a cell phone, but I'm just, I'm, what, I'm, what I have here and it looks like a hockey puck, this is simply a Bluetooth powered speaker, okay? And it has an auxiliary jack, so I'll put a link down below to this exact one. This this one works pretty well. I've tried a few others that, that suck, and I'll talk about that. But uh, what you want to look for, and you may already have one of these already at home, right? This is like $15 on Amazon. You need one that has an auxiliary input, and you need one that has decent power. So I recommend 3 watts or better in terms of power. 
Now this is a 3 watt Bluetooth speaker with auxiliary port and it's relatively compact and this has a little touch panel which is kind of cool but in any case I don't care about that. It's terrible Bluetooth speaker though in terms of it won't stay connected to uh, my computer. It stays connected to my phone pretty well but anyhow uh, and then you know I have my little tripod here uh, mini tripod hooked up and as you can see I'm recording I don't know if you can see the levels or not it's not going to focus but uh, what do you think of the audio quality let's let's walk around and do, do a little vlogging with this no I'm sorry what I have plugged into it is my Pro XD as then Pro XD uh, transmitter or uh, this is the receiver plugged into it and then I have the lavalier mic here on my jacket plugged into my Pro XD transmitter Okay, and I bought it as a kit, right? You get the transmitter and receiver. This is a wireless mic system, and it's $199, uh, you know, on Amazon. I've seen it maybe for $189 sometimes. But in any case, what I like about the Pro XD is very, very compact, right? I mean, I, I don't know if you can tell how small this is, but this is really tiny, okay? And it's... You know, it's rechargeable battery, etc. And the sound quality and everything is excellent. It's never dropped out on me uh, when I'm using it. And I use it for all of my uh, video tutorials that I've been doing. So uh, this is what I use. Now, normally I have some Velcro on this. And if you look at the top here, I have uh, Velcro on top of the speaker. Okay. And I would just Velcro this right on top like so. Uh... And then I wouldn't have to hold it separately like I am right now. But this is a different transmitter I have. I have a couple of these. Uh, this one didn't have the Velcro on it. So I'm just going to hand hold it in my hand like this for now. But normally, you know, this would be how you would be uh, vlogging. So let's, let's walk around uh, and just do a short vlog. And I'll talk about some of the other uh, transmitter receivers and Bluetooth speakers that I tried that didn't really work out as well as this one did or this setup. So I'm walking away from the camera and, uh, you know, the audio really hasn't changed, right? I'm still, the, the volume levels are still the same and I can go even further. As you can see, no change in the audio, right? It still should sound pretty much the same as when I was standing near the camera. As far as wireless mic systems go, 199 is kind of a lot, right? But for this system, this is an all digital 2.4 gigahertz. And I think the audio quality is not bad. Uh, so, because you look at the Rode mic system, it's like $400. Uh, and then Sennheiser has $600, $800 ones. And then it goes up from there. I mean, if you're going to spend that kind of money, you might as well get a camera that has a mic jack, right? Uh, so I, I, I and, they, and they're bigger and bulkier, at least the road one is. And, and there's, there's a $99 Sarmonic system that sounded pretty good, but that's also big and bulky. And it works on a UHF system or VHF, and it can, it can introduce some noise. I mean, it's not bad, actually. It does sound pretty good. Um, it's a very similar system that they use in karaoke. When I used to go karaoke all the time, uh, those were all VHF or UHF uh, mic systems. But this Pro Asden XD system is very compact, lightweight. The batteries last all day long. I mean, you can get 10, 11 hours out of them. And uh, I think the sound quality is really good, especially when it's plugged directly into the camera. Not like the system that I have here, which is not bad uh, when your camera doesn't have a mic jack. But if you ever upgrade your camera to one of the higher-end models, and you pretty much have to if you want a mic jack, uh, you can use this Pro Asden XD with that system as well. So it's really, you really need to think of it more like an investment long term uh, if you're thinking about doing vlogging seriously. So uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Let me just show you the system again. And, uh, you know, this is it. Okay, very, very simple, right? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below of my solution here. Does it, is it something that might work for you or was this a, a bad idea? I don't know. You tell me. But as always, I really appreciate the very kind feedback I've been getting. And uh, 
you know, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.